I have to talk about the people that said, I'll pray for you, but I'm not going to do anything to help you. Yeah. And you know, that that's the tough part. And that's what you find when you go through times like this, you really do find out who your true friends are. And I think one of the things that hurt the most was some of the people we thought were our friends who abandoned us. But then we found other people that we didn't realize were our friends who stayed by our side. But you're right. Uh, in most cases, they didn't know what to do, or at least they weren't even willing to seek out what to do. And that makes it more difficult. And yet I understand to an extent, because in Second Corinthians 1, the Bible says that God comes alongside of us in our tribe so that we can then come alongside of others who go through the same tribe. And what I discovered is the person who can come alongside me best is a person who's gone through what I'm going through. I like to word it this way. God doesn't comfort us to make us comfortable. He comforts us to make us comforters. And that was really the whole purpose of the book. When I went through my cave experience, though I had people who were friends and tried to encourage me, I really didn't have anybody in my life who'd been through it. I could offer me practical help and spiritual hope. That was why I ended up writing the book. And while the book is applicable for anyone that goes through hurt or betrayal, it was really written as a hurting pastor to hurting pastors. I I wrote the book. I could care less if I ever sold a copy. I just wanted to have copies that I could give because God kept leading into my life other hurting pastors. And I needed to have something I could give them and say, I hope this book can help you. I hope it encourages you. I hope it gives you some practical steps that you can take. I've been able to speak at pastor's conferences and retreats, sharing on this topic and just have a book to each of them because no one can comfort you better than someone who's been through the similar pain.